Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to react to Hot Stopper Season 3, Episode 1. I am so excited, you guys, for this. I have been waiting for Season 3 of Hot Stopper. Um, I'm just thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Cannot wait. Um, it's, I think it just came out either today or yesterday, and I have energy after work today, so I actually filmed something right before this, and I was like, mm, let me film Hot Stopper. I forgot for a second, I was like, oh yeah, I can do Hot Stopper. It's back. It's only eight episodes. They're not that long of episodes. Um, I'm gonna try to get them out as much as possible. This weekend, I'm probably gonna film like two or three at least. And of course, Patreon is gonna have them first by like a week or two. Um, actually, I think the first one, this one, I'm gonna try to put out on Patreon on Saturday, which means, and I'll probably try to get the second one out on like Sunday or something. Sunday or Monday. And then the first episode here on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube now, should be coming out sometime at the end of next week, Friday or Saturday, probably Saturday. And then after that, it should be at least once a week. I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are too. I love this show. I love the first two seasons and I'm excited for a season three that's going to be a little bit darker. I like a little bit darker of stuff. So yeah. And meanwhile, I have been watching Young Royals. I, I've watched the first two seasons, not the third one yet, but first two. So it's very similar, but also very different. But it's filled the void. But now we're back with my favorite people. And I love Joe Locke because I've been watching him and Agatha all along as well. I haven't been watching it on the channel. I've just been watching that for fun. But I watched the first three episodes of that show. The fourth one just came out. So I have to watch that probably tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow night. But love him. I can't wait to see more of everyone and everything. And see what's going to happen now that we're all in love and we're out. And what that means. All we, is this going to take place during the summer? Um, new school year, I don't know. I really have no idea what's about to happen. So I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and go to Patreon if you want to watch these early and uncut, unedited, fully just raw footage right now, okay? So check that out. Link is down below in the description box. And without further ado, here we go. Oh, we're starting with her. Interesting. Are we finally going to get more focus on her? I love her. And I can't even think of her name, sadly. I'm sorry. I have something to tell you. What are you going to say, Charlie? I love you. <laughs> it's going to be great. Me. Nick's going to say it back. I hope you do. Because I'm properly in love with you. <laughs> the practice in the mirror is adorable. Same way, too, eventually. I don't know who actually does that, but. It's cute anyway. <laughs> Stop spying on me. Stop declaring your love so loud. Yeah, with the door wide open too. I'm shocked you haven't said it already. I know, right? They feel like people that would say it fast. I don't want him to have to say the awkward I love you too because he feels obligated to. You don't think he feels the same? He so does. He's literally obsessed with you. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. He seems so much older. Today, and then he's on holiday for three weeks, so... So tell him today. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Saying it now or in three weeks. No big change. Just say it. Oh, oh, you're looking good. The muscles are muscling. Oh. <laughs> say it. I... Or choose a different time today to say it. Before. Well. I've never seen you in a cat before. <laughs> That's true. I've never seen that. Should we get up? Seems like it's summertime. Oh, I love. So, dinner at mine tonight? Haven't oh, these two are like fully together now. So, I'm going to cook us a candle at dinner. Oh. With <laughs> what cooking skill? <laughs> For months! <laughs> sure. Oh, we're going to the beach. Fun. Oh, and these two, how is she doing? I really wanted to hope, I hope she's doing well. Can't you let me win one time? No, faster. Never let anyone else win. And my mum almost walked in on us again, so you me. She's staying there. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> Look at the group here. I love this group. All back together. 
I miss them. Him and his books. Well, I did tell you not to bring all of that. Yeah, what, what is all that? I'm bringing the fun. <laughs> you need a floaty for the ocean? I love a good British, like, uh, the beaches. They're much better to me. The way he just cannot look without smiling. They're both feeling things. Just say it, say it, say it. No, don't imagine it, say it. Oh. Oh, you know, he's not going to respond with that. Don't. Thank you. Don't think negatively. No. Stop it. Funny for me to say that. No, Charlie. Sorry. Don't go down the spiral. <laughs> it will happen eventually. I know it will. Do you have someone? I know. I don't really burn. I just tan. <laughs> just tan. Same with me. I don't really burn. I burn a little bit. Mostly just ears and nose. Rest of it's fine. Maybe in a bit. Okay. You got a little bit of um. That's true, you should anyway. Just skin cancer and all. Aww. They're so cute. Stop kissing your boyfriend and hurry up. Alright. He's so pale though. Nick is like so so pale. And Charlie. Both of them are. It's for my girlfriend. She's over there. Okay. Official girlfriend. I don't think she cares. I've been dating for like three weeks, but it's been a it's been a whirlwind. Oh, okay. She Can really I doesn't care. Sure. What is going? Tao. Cute. I got one too, so we're matching. But oh, uh, one for oh, so sappy, but it's cute. I like it. Open. <laughs> a flower. Go to the flower. You got me flowers on your first test. Oh. We're so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I want the most romantic summer ever with you before you go to Lambert. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I support that idea. I fully support it too. What are we playing? Volleyball. Volleyball. Okay. okay. Mm, Nick versus the girls. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fair. Gender. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we're gonna win yeah, anyway. Well, Let's do it. Sorry, you start. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that's regulation. Chris? Pop corners. Is that what those are? I love me some pop corners. You okay. You seem kind of stressed out. I want to tell Nick that I love him. Do it. Charlie, you're already dating him. I know, right? I know. You know I get stressed out with this stuff. Oh yes, I am mm -hmm. very aware. He's a very nervous well, Nelly. Sit here staring at him all day instead, then. <laughs> I'm not staring. <laughs> and maybe a little drool too. Have you seen him shirtless in the changing rooms? Yeah, this is an entirely different context. <laughs> I don't really get the appeal. What with anyone? No, asexual. No, not really. And that's his journey. That's fine. I've seen someone really attractive and just felt like. I totally like have. It. No. Many, many times. I think I'm immune. <laughs> You're immune. I love that way to think about it. You're immune to it. Do you think you're asexual then? Probably. I could see that for him. His journey. Romantic too? Mm, okay. I don't really know what that is. That is fair. That's all right. You can Google it later. Yep. <laughs> yeah, proud of you for talking about it. the others, Isaac? They'd be supportive. Yeah. yeah, I know they would be. They would. Yeah. Honestly, I, I just can't be bothered to give everyone a vocab lesson. That is also fair. Sometimes you just don't feel like teaching everyone. I love you. Oh, I love you too. And if you can say that to me, you can definitely say it to Nick. Yes, you can. Totally different. No, it's not. <laughs> love for friends is the same as love for boyfriend. Sometimes you love friends even more. 
Oh, that looks good. Fish and chips are like the best. Oh, I want some fries. Pass over here. And he's gonna have problems eating. Oh no. I want him to get help this season. I don't want him to go dark and twisty. Hello. Hi. I love that Nick makes the dark thoughts go away. Hey, it's always. Just Do you guys want ice lollies or are you just gonna keep flirting? <laughs> We're all full up, actually. Sorry. Do you have any cola ones? Okay. And more for us? Can I have an ice lolly? Yeah, yes. have He's there to support you. Because he loves you. Oh, Tao, you're probably not gonna see her for five whole minutes. <laughs> are you gonna be okay? <laughs> Of romance. It's perfectly normal for us to be spending all this time together. And to be cancelling plans with us to go on dates with her. Ooh. The honeymoon period won't last forever. It always yeah, ends. Eventually. You didn't think about that? <laughs> oh, he's thinking about the end of summer. It will end. <laughs> so. How's life living with your girlfriend? It's <laughs> good. She might be moving out soon, though. Oh. She's been chatting to her gran a bit on the phone. Okay. She wants Darcy to live with her. Okay. Does Not a gran live nearby, at least? No. I feel bad. <laughs> it's okay to feel a little bit like... It's okay if it's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> love her so much and you love her she's a girlfriend and all but you're a teenager still and living with her that's a big thing even for adults when someone you love's in trouble you do anything to help them yeah Nick, same with nick and charlie yeah that and starting sixth form and thinking about uni options and it's all just a lot yeah, yeah. it's a big time of their life I'm stressed about starting sixth form i know i guess um I really thought about I it. I've just been the bye. Bye. Oh, he's been distracted by Charlie and how to help him. That's so sweet, but he should talk to maybe an adult about this. He doesn't have to, like, out Charlie, but maybe get some advice from someone. Other things. So he doesn't just bear all the pressure on his shoulders. How to talk to him about it without making things worse. You're doing your best. Yeah. Let him know yeah, he knows you care about him. Let him remind him of that, and it will work I guess out fine. So. Wanna come? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so are these two Imogen and I can't think of her name together. Look at the two of them just reading. Adorable. He's so worried about him. It's so cute and so sad. And Charlie's just so worried about his body and all this that he's not gonna ever... He's gotta think about like, oh, Nick's never gonna... Charlie's never gonna come out here in the ocean with me because he's so worried. He feels sick and... It's a lot to think about in general. There's so many layers to this for both of them. Come and see with me. I really don't want to take my shirt off. You don't have to. Okay, I'll keep it on. Yeah. We're drying the sun. Exactly. There you go. Find the middle ground. Get him to feel comfortable so that he can do something and still have fun without feeling like he has to hide. I love that for them. Love that. <laughs> yeah, that water must be cold. Oh, oh. Right there. <laughs> oh, down together. <laughs> oh. Say it. No, you don't. Oh, 
Oh, this is, I love them. And I've never been so jealous of two teenage boys. That makes me feel sad. I need to talk to you about something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Okay, two very different topics. I love you and I'm worried about you. <laughs> you go first. Maybe not. No, no, you. I think no, no. Charlie go first. Because... Nick's gonna ruin that moment. I don't know though. Maybe it's better for Nick to go first. So not to ruin it. I think you have an eating disorder. Oh. I've been doing some research and um, I know you don't want me to Oh God. You don't shut down. Don't freak out, Charlie. It's okay, it's okay. He cares about you. He just wants to make sure you go all right. I don't think I do. Oh, Lyle. I know that I've got some issues. But what do you I, think I it is then? That Are you sure? I don't think Charlie agrees. I don't agree. Yeah, I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. I am though. Oh no. Oh. Are you angry at me? Oh god. Is that what you wanted to talk about as well? No, it wasn't. Oh, God. That did not go as planned for either of them. Ah, there we go. They can learn. I think David's stolen my goggles. I can't believe you're leaving me for three whole weeks. I know. Days. For three whole weeks? How many episodes is that going to be? Yeah. Gonna be longer as you spent apart since we first met. Yeah, I don't like that. I want them oh, together. Are you gonna miss me? Mm, maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. a little maybe. Bit. <laughs> very, very rude. <laughs> you know I'm gonna miss you a lot. Same. Right, I'm gonna go and have a shower. Yes, I've got sand everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing about the beach. Only if it's not Marvel. Uh -huh. I forgot you have no taste. Says okay. the boy who's in Marvel now. Throw yourself around. Yeah. You gotta tell her how you feel. What's wrong? It's better than keeping it in. Living with your grand. You might have more space if you lived yeah. with her. Yeah. And it's family. It might be what's best. I live with my dream girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. How are we gonna say it? How do we say this? I love you. Good start. But, and I love being near you. Okay. I love waking up with you and yes. I love spending every day with you. But. But I think we need some personal space too. You need to be able to have your own personal I space in a relationship. Space. Being with each other all day, every day is a lot for any relationship. Nice. And maybe you could just try it because it's. It's okay. Be a, I hope she's okay. Try it. I'm yeah. Her. Good. Good conversation. And besides, I'll get more time in the shower as soon as we spend like an hour <laughs> in the morning. I do not. Okay. This worked out well. I was a little worried about this conversation too, but it went better than Nick and Charlie's. I love you too. Oh. I know this summer's been a lot. Thank you. Acknowledging like each other's everything. feelings, good conversation, love it. If only adults could talk like this. Oh God, what is Are happening? You sure you don't need any help? No, I can do it. Oh, Tao's cooking. Oh. Well, you tried to help, but he's too stubborn. Just um, please don't burn down my house. Huh? That's fair. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Oh my God. Are you making pasta? It's not that hard. No, I promised you a summer of romance. I'm going to have a romantic. You can be romantic with pizza. So we can have a romantic candlelit domino. There we go. I agree. Nothing's going to change, okay? You don't have to be constantly trying to impress me. Yeah. 
I'm not going to dump you because you're a terrible cook. Exactly. She's not with you because you're a great cook. You're my strongest girl. <laughs> can you you're let bad. me sort out our manta? I can sort it. It's fine. It's How? All... Let me treat you this yes. time. Yes. Work with each other's strengths. Your strength might not be his strength. Like, each other's strengths. Use them wisely. Pieces, puzzle. Yeah. If you get what I mean, right? Such a cute doggy. <laughs> All their memories. <laughs> In school with everyone there, I love how open they are and how free it feels. Ah, you gotta get home. Gotta say goodbye. Oh, uh, okay. Um, just give me two minutes. I can walk you home. No, no, it's fine. I just. Just gonna say it. It's easier without seeing him. You know, when we were in the sea. Yeah. Nice shower, by the way. You've got this. Say it. I lied. Oh, he's next like it's something else. I was actually gonna say that. Say it. Oh. I love you. Aw. Feels a little anticlimactic though. Oh. Is this actually harder for Nick than he thought? Oh no, I thought Nick was gonna be like, yes, love you. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I, I, I can walk myself home. Oh right. Right. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Don't hurt yourself. Oh no, no. Shit. Charlie, hang on. You're about to go with a towel out to the street. Clothes. Clothes. Clothes may help. Clothes. Okay, he freaked out for a moment, but he's, he's, yeah, don't, Is don't it? forget too much, Charlie, no, 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 you're not. Oh, barefoot, oh god. Oh god, running barefoot, ouch. He just froze for a moment, he, he's, that's fully acceptable. Oh. Hi. He's gonna have to shower again, by the way, because those feet are dirty as fuck. And he's sweating too. Oh. You said it when I was in the shower. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I swear. <laughs> okay. No need to be sorry about it. Alright, can you say what you said again, please? It's embarrassing. Say it. You already said it once, now it's good. Easy. And you don't have to say it back, I just. I wanted to tell you because you're going away and I haven't seen you for a few weeks. I love you too. Yes! Oh, so I cute. I love you so much. I love them. I love you, I love you, I love you all. Come in, you idiot. Love these two beautiful idiots. <laughs> well, you're the one who said I love you for the first time when I was in the shower. Yeah, oh, fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a funny I story. Really At your wedding, it will be hilarious. Because you're Charlie. Yep. It's a very Charlie move. And you love me. Yeah. And I love you. Yeah. So cute. Don't, don't overthink this, Darcy. Just be okay. She loves you. You love each other. There we go. Beautiful evening. Good dinner. Love it. Okay, forks and knives are a little bit excessive, though. Not even wearing a shirt. I thought you liked it. <laughs> I saw you peeping at me on the beach. <laughs> I was not peeping. Uh, you a little peeping. -pee. My love. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> So in love that you're gonna walk to my house with no shoes on. 
it's a little yeah. crazy, but okay. That's how you know someone's in love with you. Would you do the same to me? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yes, he would. Oh, guys, loved it. That was uh, beautiful. That was iconic. That was just so darn sweet. But also, some serious stuff going on in this episode, too. We have uh, Darcy and... Darcy and... Oh, my God. Why can't I think of a name? So, it has been a while since I've watched season two. So, names were starting to come back this episode. And I had her name, and now I've forgotten the name. Because there's just so many characters, too. Tara. Tara and Darcy, they're doing happy, but... Darcy has been staying... Right, Darcy before... Yeah, Darcy's been staying at Tara's for the summer since she got kicked out of... So, it, I get it. It's... It's a lot to live with a significant other, whether you're in... Well, it's let alone in when you're an adult. That can be hard. But as a high schooler, that's a lot. I, myself, in general, am not good with living... Mm, I live with other people. I have, like, three roommates. But I also like my private space a lot. I like my own time. I like to be alone. I need to be alone. I need to recharge my social battery. Definitely being a teacher, I am around little kids all day. And it's a lot of socializing. It's a lot of stuff going on. And my battery's already smaller than most people's. People's that I need solo alone time every single day. Or I will suffer. And every weekend, I need at least one day of the weekend just by myself if I'm going to survive the following week. It's just what I need. And I think Tara needs that. She needs her alone time. And sometimes being farther apart, you know, the whole fondness, distance makes the fondness of heart go, I don't know, whatever that saying is. I cannot think of it right now. But you know what I mean. And it's just like sometimes you just need some time apart to really appreciate each other. I think that's all it is. She's not being like, oh, I hate you, move out. She's like, um, give me a little bit of, like, distance. Maybe go live with your grandma, which is a great idea. Be with family still, and someone who may actually accept you. I'm like, you awful mom. So, that's good. And then Charlie and Nick. Oh, Charlie and Nick, Charlie and Nick. Okay. So, in the end, Charlie was able to say I love you. It was while Nick was in the shower behind a closed door, so maybe not the best timing, but it's a cute story. Nick did freeze for a moment, but that's fine. That happens. He chased after him, though, barefoot, all romantic gesture-like, and said it back. So, he is 100% forgiven in my eyes. The problem we're having here is the talk in the ocean. So, Nick finally gets the courage to really mention to Charlie how he feels and he's worried about him. And Charlie just goes, nah, not it. But that's not true. You can tell... He is so worried and stressed out by the idea of it. And I get it. It's hard to talk about it. I 100% understand Charlie not wanting to say anything. Admitting something, especially something like that, to other people, to anyone, whether it's someone you love or not. Very complicated. Very hard. And I'm one of those people. I go through depression and anxiety. And I'll be honest, I've never really talked to anyone about it. And... Whenever I'm having a bad day or anything, I like people ask me, Oh, are you okay? And I just, I do what Charlie did. I put a smile on me, like, Oh, yeah, it's fine. Nothing. And then you suddenly just kind of move on. You just push it to the side and pretend like nothing. Even though part of you wants to say something and talk about it, it's like the second you get confronted about it, it's like, Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, pretend, hide, deflect, push it away. It's not real. Even though sometimes you may want to be like, when you're alone, you're like, oh, I do kind of want to talk to someone about this. But then confront it and it changes everything. Having to actually say it out loud and talk to someone and have a possibility that everyone learns about it. And then there's all these thoughts in your head. I totally get that. I hope that sometime this season, Charlie can trust Nick enough to be like, hey, Nick, you were right. There is a problem. And I'm hoping that means... That will happen, or oh, honestly, it is a very dangerous situation, Charlie. Last season, he fainted, so I'm so worried about it. And honestly, I would be like, mm. Nick telling a parent, an adult maybe, maybe when he goes on his trip 
I'm guessing and assuming going to his aunt that we saw in the trailer. Um, I'm I'm part of me is thinking he's probably gonna talk to her about that because she's kind of out of the situation, doesn't know Charlie's parents, not not gonna go to them and be like, okay, I'm worried. This is more some outside adult that he can trust her, and I'm hoping that means maybe he'll talk to her and get a get some good advice. That's what Nick needs of how to approach this. And Charlie just needs to feel comfortable in the right time to mention it. And I, I don't know when that'd be. I hope it's not so super long that he gets worse. But I definitely think something's wrong. I definitely think he needs to talk about it and get some help. I'm worried. I'm worried. But I'm also like, I feel like it's going to work out at some point. Hopefully this season. Um, other than that, we have... Uh, Gosh, what's his name? I can never remember his name. Um, Isaac. He's going through his a room on, like on. Oh my God, I am pansexual. Not pansexual. Why can't I think of? Oh my God. Isaac, um, heart stopper, sexuality. Asexual, that's what it is. I, I'm blanking on what's today. It's been a long day, you guys, at work. I've been teaching math for a month for, to first graders. Way outside of my comfort zone, but it's what I've been doing. And I've got another, like, month and a half of it. It's a lot. Teaching math in general, but to first graders, it's a lot. My brain power is gone by the end of the day. Like, so the fact that I'm filming right now, pretty, I feel I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> But yes, he's asexual and he's also um, aromantic and he's figuring that out. He's talking to Charlie about it, which is great. And I'm happy for him. And I'm ho happy on his journey to see him go through it and see what's going to happen with that. And I get it. He doesn't want to tell everyone about it because it is sometimes a lot just to be like, oh, I'm this. And people are like, what's that mean? What is that? Are you this? Are you this? And all these questions, and you have to define it and tell them this is what this is about. This is how I feel and discuss it with every single person. It's just a lot. I 100% get it. It will happen when it happens. Not no rushing him. Um, other than that, I am excited. We had a nice fun beach day, um, a nice romantic ending, and I guess we, I don't know. Nick's gonna be gone for three weeks. Are we gonna have a whole episode where he's gone, and then he's gonna come back the next episode? Um, is he gonna be gone for like three, four episodes? I don't know. I don't want him gone that long. I need Nolly to be together more than a part this season. And then, are we going to go back to school sometime this season, at the end of the season, mid-season? Uh, or are we just summer all season long? And then next season will be, like, their, their last year of school. Well, some of their last years. I think it's just Tara and Nick that are up one year above the rest of them, right? That's what I think it is. We didn't really get much of image in this episode, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up, what her name is. Um, I love Imogen. Oh, we got a little bit of Tori, which is fun. A little bit in that beginning. I love Tori. The sister, great. But, uh, Imogen and... Is it... Uh, oh, did I know? Sahar? Is that her? There's no image for us, so that's, that's fantastic. I think it is Sahar. I think that is her. Well, the other girl... I'm 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 intrigued to see if the little um, floaty vibes from last season maybe and maybe that's something maybe we'll develop that. I love Imogen in general now that she's part of the group. Love it. Um, the group is great. I love the whole group. I am jealous of teenagers. It's so annoying of their love and their friendship. It pisses me off. But I still love them anyway. So. I'm very excited to watch the next seven episodes of Hot Stopper Season 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon for this fully unedited reaction. And to get ahead right now on Patreon, we are ahead of where we are right now. If you are watching this on YouTube right now and it just came out, at least two episodes ahead probably. Maybe more, but at least two. So go check that out um, and check out my other reactions as well, including Patreon exclusive shows that that are only on Patreon, not on YouTube, like Pox and Rack, Attack and Titan, Battlestar Galactica, and a few others. So go check that out. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.